Hello guys, I'm Water. IK is a powerful animation tool, but a little bit hard to set it up. So this tutorial will teach you how to use it. To use IK in Minimal, we can import a Steve to learn it. Steve model have a built-in IK option that you can use controller to control it. Now let's build a controller. First, we need to import a clip. Then we need to set the custom notation point to 0, 0, and 0. Now let's scale it smaller. Put it in the right position. Adjust the color and the opacity. And now go back to the arm. At IK, we choose clip as the target. And now the arm will follow the clip and will bend if the clip getting too close. Now you see, it getting a little bit weird when you try to rotate it. So how to fix it? I'm going to duplicate the clip and put it inside the first clip. Now you may notice that the transform is a little bit weird. So now we are going to hierarchy and turn off the scale. And now we are going to position the clip to the back side of the arm. And now we select the arm and set the angle target to the another clip. And now you can move the controller and rotate the arm as you want. Now let's set up the rest of it. Duplicate it, move it to the other side, and set the target and the angle target to it. We may want to rename it. After we rename it, we can also change the color of it. If you change the color of the first clip, it won't change the color of the second clip. To fix it, we reset the second clip color. And we open the parent color option. And then the second clip will follow the first clip color, so you only need to adjust the color once. Next, we are going to make the legs controller. So we do the same thing, we duplicate it. And this time, we scale it up a little bit. We change the color and do the same thing to the other side. After that, we set up the IK. As the same, we select the target and the target angle. For the legs, we need to move the target angle to the front of the legs. Next, we are going to put them into the same folder and rename it as IK. And now we select the IK and the Steve and put them into the same folder. Now we enter the high quality render preview. You can see the controller is still there. So to fix it, we need to go to the folder of the IK, go to IK properties, and we go down to the button and we open HQ hiding. Now when you render it, it will not show up in your render. And now everything is finished. You have your own IK controller to use. But you may want the controller to look more flashy and more function to use. Here is my own controller that I will public in the next week. Subscribe and you will know when the video comes out. And now you may ask, my custom model doesn't have IK setting. How do I turn it on? First, open your custom model and click on the arm and legs you want to use IK. Plus B and go to band and you can see a join and failure for you to adjust. To enable IK, you need to adjust this file above than 0. In here, I set it to 6. Remember to save it, and now we go back to my mainer. We go to project, and resources, and click on the cluster model you made. And click replace resources, and replace the model. And now you can see the arm has been enabled, the IK option. The rest of it is the same as the others. Here is something extra. With the help of IK, making dancing is much more easier than before. When human is dancing, we usually move our hips. So uh, how we position our center point to the hips to make some dancing move. First, go to your custom model and right click, add a part. Now rename the part as whatever you want. I will rename it as body layer. Select your body and legs and pull it to the body layer. Drag it down to the center point of the body layer. And now move up the body layer. Now the body layer is the center point of the model. Now go back to my mirror. We can move body layer to control the hips. The body and the leg will follow the body layer. And now the tutorial is finished. Thank you for watching this video. 
If you like it, please drop a like and subscribe to the channel. It will be a great support for me to make more tutorials like this. Once again, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.